Hi, today I'm going to be showing you guys some really helpful tips that have helped me save money in the past and um, I don't know, I feel like I've really gotten saving down to a T, not the type of T that means I have a retirement fund, not the kind of T that means I have anything close to a three digit number in my bank account. Uh, just little hints that have helped me tremendously, you know, just here and there. Okay, so the first tip is Trader Joe's coffee. Now Trader Joe's is a great place to shop to save money as is, but did you know that they give out free coffee? What I do is I wake my ass up every day. I go to Trader Joe's before work as if I'm going grocery shopping and I go and I drink their free coffee until I'm up enough to get ready for work and have that motivation going. I pretend like I'm with someone and I'll grab two cups as if my husbands around the corner and then I'll do some more walking around and then go back for a third cup and three cups usually they're small but they usually um, equal to about like a cup and a half of coffee okay speaking of sampling which I've gotten in trouble for this a lot but it's worth it it's to go to Whole Foods the little bins that they have all sorts of snacks in those bins it's not just bulk quinoa and brown rice just grab them with your hands when no one's looking and eat it as a snack circle around and do it enough you have yourself a full meal. You can just um, say that you were trying a sample. They'll be like, bitch, there's a sticker right there that says no hands in the bins. And then you'll be like, oh my God, I'll never do it again. And then you do it again. Storing alcohol in a water bottle when you're going to a bar. This one's great, but it usually only works with clear liquor. What I do is I bring a bottle of vodka in a water bottle and put it in my purse. And you order a water at the bar. Pour the vodka when no one's looking into the water, then you have a vodka water. Okay, this one I'm not proud of, but it does work. One day I walked into the Apple store and I had no bra on and um, they replaced my phone for free wearing a low-cut shirt. This isn't just for women. If you're a guy, just just show a little bit of the head. Usually you'll get some favors like that because people are disgusting. Not proud of that one. Hanging out at hotels. Hanging out at hotels is great. A lot of stupid old rich men from all over the place come and stay and they think they're balling out because they're staying at this really nice hotel. And they are and they're doing well for themselves. It's great. Um, because they will buy you drinks but not only that you can ask them hey what's your room number like you're gonna go up and like give them a nine out of ten times they'll give you their room number and you'll be like okay me and my friends are gonna get ready but we'll come over and I'll meet you later and when you know that they're gone you can order as much food and you just charge it to that room number so hotels if you're up there scamming old men, you can always grab the little cart with all the toiletries. I have a whole bag underneath my sink of hotel shampoo and conditioner. Let's see. You would be surprised how many cleaning supplies are stored in restaurants, public bathrooms. This is also stealing, I guess, but don't think of it like that. I have like three bottles of generic Windex from a restaurant I would frequent. I don't have to buy Windex for a long time. Once again, stealing, but sorry, but this is immoral. I guess all of these are a bit immoral, aren't they? But going to church is a great way to save money on breakfast. Donuts, coffee, and if you're into that kind of thing, you can sit and enjoy a nice sermon about how to be a nice person after you've just stolen a bunch of things thanks to this list. Okay, this one I use religiously, and that is going to Chipotle. Get to use their napkins. Um, I don't know what it is about their recycled napkins, but they're amazing. So I don't really think it's stealing because I can never walk into Chipotle and not buy every fucking... Their napkins double as toilet paper, paper towels, and if you're really gross, not saying I've ever done this before, uh, feminine hygiene products. One issue with that is you've got to make sure there's nothing on it. One time, I think there was a bit of soy rizo left, used it as my toilet paper. It, uh, it stung very badly. One last one. Jaywalking in Beverly Hills. So this one's dangerous, um, as well as immoral. Jaywalking in front of really nice restaurants, preferably at night when it's really chaotic. 
I haven't done this yet. You walk carelessly right in front of a Saudi Arabian prince and his Maserati hits you. And I'm not one to sue people, but I just think that they would feel bad and give you money. Like I said, not the most moral thing. Another place is um, Earth Cafe where all the really cool, young, rich kids go. I think that they'd freak out so much they would just give you money right then and there. Be careful while, while doing this, you can die. How I look at that is you get money from getting hit or you get to leave this world and not worry about money ever. Well, those are my tips. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you understand that you can get arrested, you can get in trouble, and you could die from doing any of these. Thank you so much for watching.